Good morning, my name is Jeff and I'm a contributor at DirtyShirt.info. So the project this morning is we have a 2005 Dodge uh, Ram truck, 1500 two-wheel drive. The symptoms of the vehicle are that it has a, a chatter uh, in the drivability of the car and it's kind of hard to define but um, it's making noises occasionally. Um, you can feel it in the steering wheel, in the, both pedals, uh, so forth. Even your passenger can, uh, can uh, feel these types of problems with the, the vehicle. So, this morning, Sean drove it from his house to mine. It's about 15 miles or so, and the thing quit, uh, quit causing uh, the symptoms went away. We took it out on the freeway. I heated up the brakes, and bam! As soon as we did that, we started having problems. So we've lifted the front of the vehicle up, and I'll show you where we're at right now. Um, and we've taken, we took and spin, would spin both tires just to see if we could hear anything or see, see any problem. This one definitely does not spin as easily as the passenger side. You can hear some just odd noises. It just doesn't sound right. And then if you give it a shake, the whole wheel is is moving. Um, and we haven't done anything with the lug nuts. So our next step is we'll go ahead and pull the wheels off and get into it. It's probably like a wheel bearing or something like that. Okay, so we've gotten the wheel and took the uh, whole caliper off, uh, including the caliper frame. Uh, there are two bolts that hold this on, three sixteenths sized. Um, and the whole thing comes off. We've wired it up to the frame just to take the tension off of the brake lines. And uh, you get this action here. You can see the whole hub is, you know, sort of loose and, and moving. And a couple of just, you know, additional piece of information. When you pull a wheel off and you can see these clips that are attached to the studs, uh, that indicates that th that came from the factory. So this vehicle has never, this, um, um, this part has never had probably never had a brake job. Um, we are looking at the brakes themselves, and the pads are almost completely gone. There's almost nothing left of the the pad material. This is all backer, and in fact, the pad is so small that it's just. I mean, within maybe a month, this would start to drag on the um, rotor, and and it would cause other problems. So we're going to do a brake job on this vehicle as well. Uh, I see that there are three bolts that hold this center hub on from the back. So we're about to remove this guy and take a look at the center hub to see what is causing the problem in this loose condition. We pulled the rotor off and it's pretty evident that we have a problem with this uh, bearing hub assembly. When you spin it, and let's get in real close to so see if you can hear it. Lots of, lots of racket, uh, you know, loose play, so forth. So next step is give the parts house a call. We'll see what it's going to take to get this um, this hub replaced. As far as the parts are concerned, price and availability, and we'll do some uh, brake pad and or we're going to take and measure our rotors to see if we've got enough uh, metal in order to have them machined so that we do the brake job. We've got all new mating surfaces. So we've gotten it down to its basic components. Um, there were three bolts holding the wheelbarrow assembly on here to the back. And what we had to do in order to get this off is, is uh, at least once or twice swing the wheel back and forth so that we could access all the, the three bolts that are holding the hub assembly on. And this is not serviceable, right? You, repl you replace the whole, the whole mess here. So that's the plan. I've already called on parts. Uh, and we're looking at about 120 bucks for, to replace this guy. Uh, there is an ABS sensor on this vehicle. And, uh, it just bolts into the top of the hub like so is an allen screw and you just work it out and, and it comes apart so that's where we're at so we're on the passenger side of the car right now and we're taking the rotor off and this rotor was frozen on here to the hub hub itself in the middle um, the way that i got it off was that i took a big hammer and i hit between the studs don't hit the studs right because you might you might damage the threads so you got to be really careful but it takes a good whack, so it's um, you know it's actually frozen, and we've you know we've got all bits and pieces off, and it's just loosened up now. And that's how you get it. New off. hub assembly. It comes pre-wired for the ABS, and uh, we're going to take the old wire out and uh, replace it with the new. Okay, so we're into the brakes right now. We've replaced the hub, and a couple of things that we've done in sort of a preparation step is as the brake pads wear, these pistons. Um, protrude much further outside the cylinder and this vehicle was in such a state of needing brake pads and if you can do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison to the new to the old there's almost nothing left it's maybe paper thin over here so those pistons have come all the way out of their sockets and they need to be pushed back in so that we can fit the new pad on so we have enough room because it's going to be 
double this thickness, we have two pads. Here's just one as an example. So what I did was, is I used this big um, set of channel locks and uh, placed it on the caliper. And I took an old pad, laid it across here, and I squeezed those back in. And I was really gentle about it. I took my time um, because it forces uh, fluid back up into the master cylinder. And we did that to both sides as sort of a preparation step. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of blow all this off. Uh, our new brake pads came with new clips, um, uh, both here and, and on the bottom, and we'll replace those. We have lubrication points that are shown in the instructions of the actual lubrication tube that comes with it. We'll hit all those spots, then we'll put the caliper back together and go over to the other side and start working on that side. All right, we have buttoned everything back together, taking it out for a test drive, got new brakes, the new hub's been replaced. We also lifted the back of the car up and uh, checked the back uh, um, brakes for their status as well. It looked probably about it, maybe three months. Another way to put it is, let's wait for the weather to get a little cooler. It's over 100 today. It's just simply oppressive out here today. So that's where we're at. We're gonna leave the backs alone. If the other hub starts to fail, we'll start to deal with that as well. You know, when the problem crops up, thanks for watching.